I actually didn't sleep that bad. The problem is the reason why I'm up at 2.30 in the morning is because I just slept that well. No, actually it's because I went to bed at like 6.30 p.m. And so naturally I'm gonna wake up at this time. It's just we're gonna be awake. We're gonna watch YouTube. I have an Uber Eats delivery coming with water. Energy drinks. I know I should be drinking energy drinks, but because of the allergies outside, I need an uplifter. I need something to help motivate me to get into the gym. But also, I said last vlog that I wasn't going to be drinking any caffeine, and I also said the vlog before that I wasn't going to be drinking any caffeine, so... I'm all out now. Just kidding, I have one more that has like a few more puffs, so I'm not all technically out of my expired inhalers, but this is definitely the death of half of it, so. <laughs> Wait, actually, I don't wanna end it right there. I wanna add some more substance to it because I've been carrying around these inhalers for a long time. I've been diagnosed with asthma and I've always had problems with breathing, especially in terms of being physical. But since I've been taking charge of what I'm eating and making sure I'm not eating any allergens, and unfortunately I am allergic to most food groups, at least most that are compatible generally more or less for the Western diet. So, but because I've been just overall better, I don't, I haven't been needing it, but because of the pollen, because of the extension of allergy season, because of climate change, I am starting to rely more on stuff that I haven't needed to in a long time. And one of those things is using inhalers. And I know you shouldn't be using expired inhalers, you know, it's medicine, you know, it's probably not the best thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's reasons why, but I don't have the money or resources that makes sense to invest in trying to get an inhaler. Maybe we now live in a time when you don't need a prescription, but those were prescribed from my old GP that I haven't even had since I was a child back in Oregon. So it's I it's not ideal, but it's just the situation we're living in. Uh, I don't really know anyone in DC. I don't really have any medical connections. I'm sure if I if it was really urgent, I'd be able to you know scrap my resources together and you know tackle it. But it's a real thing. Um, it's just, they make it really difficult to stay healthy in America and you're just really not incentivized to uh, go out of your way for something like breathing problems, which is bad, I know, but like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so I've been on this bike for about 13 minutes. We're gonna try doing like 30 minutes, okay? I know last time I was on the bike, I was saying I was gonna do an hour. It'd be cool if I did an hour today, but I don't wanna like say that because I'm not really confident that that's gonna happen. So what I'm just gonna do is be on the stationary bike for as long as I can do, be on it for, I've already been at the gym for about an hour or so, doing a lot, a lot of weightlifting, but I need to like, focus on doing some more cardio because of all the allergies outside I haven't really been able to walk as much and so my cardio is slumped so <sighs> let's turn up the pace
from that bed right over there. I am so tired. I am so hot, humid, whatever. We're gonna go to bed now, permanently. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and peace, bye.